Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. On the last episode we saw what the gold ring and the silver ring did in the middle of the clock. So, let's keep going. Let's fly up here. And we're doing well on our map, by the way. There's obviously one area we haven't visited. So what we're going to have to do is going to go all the way over to the long library. But before we do that, I think what I want to do, since I have at least one of them, Since I haven't shown this off, and this could take out some time. We've got three library cards. I'm going to use one to show what this does. All right, the library card, as you can see here, takes you off to the library. So that's really good. I'm not sure what weapon I want to use now. I guess I want to go back to the Mormigil, so... We're not going to see the library in for a little bit. Okay, there we go. We are now heading into another area of the game, another area of the map that we have not gone before. And by the way, we're doing well in rooms 840. We're almost done with this castle here, so let's take a look this way. Well, oh, that's a big fella, isn't he? He's easy. This music's really good, too. Oops. There's some stuff up here we can get. And that's a magic missile, another single-use item. We're not really interested in that very much. How about you? Haha. <laughs> what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move up into the next uh, area. Part of the floor will vanish on you, so you really have to watch it. See? Move out of the way! Hopefully my sword can take care of a few of these guys. There's a few things up here we want to take a look at. And over here, we get the fire bat. This enables us to use... Whoops. It's able to use a fire fireball as a bat, which is pretty useful. Let's see if we can finish out this map a bit. Okay, there we go. There's a few other places we can check out, so... Um, I don't want that just yet. I do want to go this way. 
Well, I do want to eventually go this way. Here is what is the most um, annoying part of the, this castle, anyway. So what I want to do is remember the Muir Cuirass a long time ago. Our defense is going to go way down, but the reason I want to equip it is because we won't get stoned by these stupid Medusas. And that'll be nice. And here is just where we went out that way. I'm gonna use this. Whoops. Oh, with the axe. These Medusas are pretty annoying, but if you get the Mirror Curios or something that prevents stone, you'll be good. Thank you, Sword. See this gear here? If this uh, sword brothers will take care of this, what you want to do is just hit this until it clicks. There it goes. It clicks there. And hit this until it clicks. There it goes. Yeah, even though our defense is really low, you really want the Mirror Kuros in this. Anything different than stone. Ah, crap. Let me try that one more time. It clicked and then it didn't. There it goes. Oh, come on, Medusas. Gotta move over this way. This last one's a bit of a pain. And there we go. And if you get all of them to click, what should happen is this area here will open up. I said this area here will open up. And you get a steel helm, a gold plate, and a star flail. So let's take a look at those. Steel helm, um, we'll look at the gold plate first. The gold plate is going to increase our defense quite a bit, so that's pretty good. Let's look at the steel helm. It increases our defense, it's pretty good. And the flail. The chakram, that was actually a weird drop, I'm surprised I got it. Uh, the star flail. I'd rather not use it. I'll show it off, though. It's a quick weapon, but I don't really like it. And this is a secret area, by the way, so that's pretty nice. But that's a pain in the butt to get to. Oh, I forgot the mirror curious. That's okay. We'll be out of here soon enough. I'm gonna turn into a bat. Hopefully I can avoid the Medusas this way. Haha, ha, Harpy. There's a secret here, by the way. I'm not gonna worry about the Harpies. Money! Money's good. The Mormigil really helps with these guys. You've got a good range.
I think one of the first times I ever played this game, I went to the clock tower way too early and realized the enemies were way too difficult. And I was wondering, like, when do you even get to this area? But that's not too bad, now that we're at this level. And you want to try to get this map up here. Life max up. Alright, we got all the map here. Well, there's plenty of map to get, trust me. Maybe I should try to get rid of these guys. Kind of looking at the room count to make sure that we approach the right number of rooms. Because it's easy to miss a couple of rooms in this first part. We'll be okay. Yes, I'll take the holy water. Over here, this kind of a little area here that's a secret. And here we get the healing mail. What this does is it heals you, restores, restores HP while walking. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. And this part of the map can be a little bit of a chore to complete. Now, look at the wonderful pendulums we've got here, as if we really need to worry about them. There's a couple of areas over here we need to complete, so. I'm not worried about the sword lords. It's funny, you know, this game doesn't seem that difficult, so there must be a whole lot more to this game than meets the eye, correct? There's one wall item, if I can get up to it in time. TNT. There's one wall item of Waka Knife. Another Waka Knife. If I can get it in time. A shuriken, sorry. Completely forgot about this guy too, but that's okay. Just sit in the corner and wail on him. There you go. Got some holy water on his ass. That's an easy, easy, easy boss. A lot of these bosses are very easy in the beginning anyway. So, 
That's just the way it is. say just yet. Oh, I forgot to show something off. Let me make sure it's not up here. Nope. And if you go up here... This looks familiar, doesn't it? We covered this in another episode. Here, we got a life max up, a heart max up, and there's something over here. A ghost card. Okay, we got all that covered. There's some stuff at the top here we need to get. And we have to scrape along the top. And we're about to end the episode. You'll see. I'm beating around the bush. There's obviously something we're about to do and some areas that we can check out later. But you know what? I'm not in the mood to take care of them just yet, so let's go this way. I'm just teasing the hell out of you guys, aren't I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to go ahead and end the episode, so thank you so much for watching. Let's play Castlevania Symphony of the Night on the, last, on the next episode. Or is it the last episode? We're going to possibly attempt to wrap things up, maybe, or maybe not. We'll just have to see how the game goes. So thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.